Families dealing with immense loss due to senseless crime are together tonight for the Crime Victims Vigil. This vigil is taking place at Cooper Riverside Park in Mobile, and that's where WKRG News 5's Dana Winter joins us. And Dana, police investigated more homicides last year than they had in the past 10 years. They did, Roseanne, and those 51 people who were killed last year are being remembered here tonight, along with victims from years past. Several families out here tonight. We're joined by Judy Ware, who works in victim services for the Mobile District Attorney's Office. Judy, thank you so much for being with us. Um, why is this event so important this year, especially compared to years past? Um, it, it gives the, the families opportunities to come together, to speak um, on all different levels of the criminal justice system, um, some that are just beginning this process, like you said, with 51 murders in the city and people that have been through this process and have um, been able to go through the criminal justice system. And it, it gives the, these people an opportunity to speak and kind of um, come together and, and uh, heal together. Tonight we've heard from District Attorney Ashley Rich. We've heard from Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste. What is the main message here tonight to the families of those victims? We want uh, the families to know that um, we are there for them, that um, the District Attorney's Office is fighting for um, your loved ones that you have lost, and uh, we will never stop fighting. Judy, thank you so much for joining us. This event is still going on right now here at Cooper Riverside Park. As you can hear, there are speakers currently on the stage. We will bring you some more information from this event tonight on WKRG News 5 at 10. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.